I'm Jenna Sackett with Stalls TV, and today we're going to talk about taking your CAD cut designs to the next level by incorporating sublimation patterns. And these sublimation patterns are super easy to work with. All you need to make sure of is that you're working with accessories and apparel that are 100% polyester. And I want to show you all the different accessories that you can print with these patterns and pair with CAD Cut HTV. I'm going to show you using the A to Z heat press. So to prep the heat press to make sure we're all good for sublimation, I'm going to cover my bottom plat in to make sure that the sublimation ink isn't going to transfer to it and a transfer to the craft paper instead. For the first applications, we're gonna do our koozies using two different pattern styles. So I'm gonna take my sublimation pattern that I have trimmed up from that 14 by 20 inch sheet and place that on one koozie and do the same with my other pattern. Now, because these are the same thickness, I'm not concerned at all with applying these at the same time there's not going to be any uneven pressure when pressing these both together. Now, if I was doing a very large job of these, I would be able to gang up more on one platen. We are working with a 15 by 15 dimension here, so that can help also if you are printing several at a time. We have our temperature set at 380 degrees, and we're going to lock this down for 45 seconds. Can go ahead and swing that heating element out of the way and remove our pattern sublimation and you can see that whenever you use 100 percent polyester how bright and vibrant these patterns come out now we do need to press the other side of these so we're just going to flip these over and repeat those same steps This time, because I do have some exposed ink, I wanna make sure that that's not gonna transfer up to my upper heating element. So I'm gonna cover that with an additional cover sheet to avoid that from happening. Hey, this is Josh Ellsworth from Stalls TV. And while that heat press is counting down, I'm gonna encourage you to click the like button on this video. Also, if you have a question about what you're seeing, leave a comment. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell so you can get the latest content delivered to your inbox. Thanks for watching. Now that our sublimation is complete, we can go ahead and build more unique value and profit opportunity in these popular drink koozies by adding CAD cut heat transfer vinyl. So you can do that with personalization. And also custom SVGs or popular prints and sayings. We're using CAD cut glitter flake and CAD cut ultra weed for these two applications. We're gonna apply these for 10 to 15 seconds. Both of these products are a hot peel, so I can go ahead and remove those carriers. And now my drinkware accessories are complete with sublimation and heat transfer vinyl. There's something I want to point out that I did make a mistake on when printing the koozies. We want to make sure that we are paying close attention to how we are placing the patterns, especially when we're doing an accessory that has to be printed on both the front and back. For example, this has a horizontal fade, whereas this one has a vertical fade. It could be a really unique look that you may not be too concerned about, but it's definitely not whatever what I was going for. 
Now this one, I really made a big mistake. The whales are completely upside down and this one, they are correct. So we really wanna pay attention to how we're placing those patterns on there and avoid that mistake for the future. Another really cool accessory you can do to offer for sublimation options is a card holder for cell phones. And what this does is has a little insert of a polyester fabric that we can just lay on here, get this out of the way and fully sublimate. So I'm just gonna take my pattern and place that right on top and repeat those same sublimation steps. So you can see that that is completely sublimated. Now at this point, all you have to do is remove the little carrier on the back that saves the adhesive and can now be inserted into the card holder. And now the 3M sticker on the back can be removed and placed on to the cell phone. Now this really just scratches the surface of all there is out there to print with sublimation transfers and incorporate CAD Cut HTV to really increase that profit opportunity. For more information on how to get started with sublimation transfers, visit stalls.com.